dear friends, my lords, ladies and gentlemen, you may call me uncle. Welcome, welcome, a thousand times welcome to the greatest, darkest, dirtiest city on earth, London. Alright guys, so this is when I was in the extra, I was in the extra? I was an extra in a film, oh, starring Bill Nighy, a brilliant actor, right? And this film is just so hard to find online at the moment. Like, I've been, I've been researching it, and there's like hardly anything. I'll put a little clip in. Okay, so now, right, I'm going to talk about how it all started and stuff like that. So, after the Dark Angel thing, I was just like chilling, looking for work, whatever. And I was just like, just, do you know what I mean? I, I got contacted by this agency and they're like, hey, do you want to be in a film? I'm thinking, the money was good last time, I'll go for it this time, right? And then I said, yeah, go on then. And they went, oh, it's in Leeds. Now, Scarborough's not that far from Leeds. I thought, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I mean, I'm quite skinny at the time, finishing uni, but... I was thinking, you know what, I can do this. All i got to do is just catch like a train. Yeah, there's a train straight from Scarborough to, to Leeds, right? Brilliant. But, a few weeks later, I got a, a phone call, right? My agent. She said, hey, you know, she said, can you go for the fitting, the costume fitting? I was like, yeah, right. She said, ah, it's not in Leeds, though. It's going to be in Manchester. Manchester is a flipping... Ah, oh, it's mental to get to. It's quite expensive as well on train. But I was like, you know what, I'll do it. And I remember thinking, wait a minute, God, it's going to be really expensive to catch a train there and also a hotel. So I said, right, you know what I'm going to do? I said, I'll, I can afford it, I'll do it, I'll just, I'll just see what I can do, right? It's only in Leeds, so I'll just do the costume fitting in Manchester and do it. So I went down, did his costume fitting, flipping loved it, right? Then, right, I come back, a few weeks go past, I'm just chilling out. Agent calls up again, giving it bling. Uh, Hello, what's going on? She's like, right, they've changed it now. I was like, what do you mean they changed it? She said, right, they loved what you look like in the pictures. I was like, brilliant. She goes, yeah, but we want you now to actually start filming in Manchester. I was like, what? I've got to go and film there now. She goes, yep. Yeah. I said, but you said it was going to be in Leeds. I can't really, I can't do it. I can't really afford it. And she went, but it's the same area. It's not the same area. Right, have you ever had that feeling where you're just chatting to someone and you just realise you're chatting to a buffoon? That's what happened. I thought, twat. Right, honestly, because like, totally different areas. like different counties. It's like, what? Nowhere near. Right, anyway, so, she said, look, you've got to do it now because I want the money kind of thing. I was like, because well, she gets paid for it as well. I was like, all right. I said, I'll see what I can do. She said, right. I said, I can, I said, I can afford the train, but I'm not sure if I can afford like, hotels every night. She said, go to hospital and stay there for £7 a night. I was like, I'm not sleeping in a hospital. I am need like running out of beds for like ill people. I'm not going to say, hey, I know you're dying, sir, but can you move over? I want to sleep in your bed because I've got, I got work in the morning. I've got to be a, I'm an actor, you know what I mean? I'm a professional actor. I'm going to be in a film. Nah, not going to work, is it? So, I think I want to do here. Oh, my God. I just remembered, right? This is a huge story. Right? So, anyway, I said, right, what I'm going to do, right, is... I was looking, looking online, looking for everywhere. All these like B&B sold out. All these hotels near the area were sold out, right? Manchester Hostel was there, right? All right, Hostel. I've never been to a hostel before. I thought I'd give this a go, right? Twenty quid a night. I thought brilliant, cheap as anything. You get showers. You get to sleep in a room. Yeah, full of strangers, but you know, brilliant. So, what happens? I travel down to Manchester, right? This was on. This was on Halloween. Yeah, on Halloween uh, last year, right? So 2015, this was right? I get to Manchester. I'm loving it. I'm taking pictures of the area. It's a beautiful city. It's huge, right? It's huge, right? Walking around, trying to get my what call it, like Google Google Maps out, trying to find out where I'm going. Found it, right? I found the place. Then I, I check in, and I said, right, I'm gonna come back in a bit. I'm just gonna go get some food, and then I'm also gonna try and find the area where I need to go. So I buy a quick Burger King, lush meal, right? 
and then I'm going around and I find these trailers. I'm thinking, brilliant, right? So now I know I'm going in the morning. I go back to the place. I get in the bed. It's 11 o'clock at night, right? I need to be up early tomorrow. I time my, uh, this is kind of awkward, but I have to time my like, alarm, five in the morning. Right, I thought, I'll do it really quiet, so hopefully it won't, it won't wake anyone up. It'll be fine. Because at five o'clock in the morning, I can get up, have a quick shower, and then go out to, you know, on set and start filming. Um, and then, right, so it was like, it's like 11 o'clock, right? I'm, I'm dozing off, right? Half 11, right? These people bust in this room, right? Because there's all these beds, right? Right? There's a Russian bloke and a French woman, right? And they come in and they're like chatting to each other and there are people getting in bed and they're sleeping, right? And, my God, I'm in bed, right? I'm, I'm facing the back, right? They can't even see me. I'm just, I'm sleeping, I'm, just, I'm trying to sleep, right? Yeah. Right? Right? The woman, right, starts undressing, right? I'm like, I'm not even looking. I'm not even perfect, you know what I mean? Right? I'm, I'm being good, right? The man, so I was chatting to her, right? I think, I think like, they're, they're going out, so it's the right room, he's chatting, right? She says, I hope you are not looking at my asshole. And I'm like, no. And I just, I was quiet. And it was the most awkward thing ever, right? Then, the lights go out. Oh, brilliant. Sleep. Half an hour goes past. It's 12 o'clock now. Bam! Drunken people come in. I think that I don't know where from. Ukraine. Whatever, I can't do accents. But they're coming in drunk, loving it. Oh, night clubbing. Whatever, whatever they're saying. I'm like, I'm knackered. I want to sleep. Oh my god, right? Horrible night's sleep. Not not dissing the place, just dissing the people. Flip me, man. You know what I mean? If I was going in there thinking people are knackered here, I would just be quiet. Not not considerate, man. Do you know what I mean? So anyway, I'm, I'm sleeping, kind of thing, trying to sleep. And then, yeah, you know, I wake up at five in the morning and I'm, I'm shattered. I'm like completely shattered. Go shower thinking, oh, brilliant. No changing rooms, right? So you got to get naked in front of people. I thought, this is awkward. Got naked. I thought, right, I have to do my bag outside so I think I'll oh, nix it. Right, go in the shower. Thinking I've got my shampoo and stuff. Oh, brilliant, I can have a nice warm shower. Put on the shower. There's only cold. There's no hot. It's freezing. The shower is like, oh my god, right? I mean, my body now is like, I mean, I'm, I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm flipping wide awake. I'm flipping shivering to my, you know what I mean? Shivering my balls off. But it's alright because I get out of the shower, I get dressed. Walk down to the set, right? Brilliant. What happens? There's a breakfast going. I'm thinking, what's going on here? They go, everyone gets a free breakfast, kind of thing. But you know, I'm sitting there, I'm thinking, what's going on here? I go across. I say, uh, how much is the breakfast? And they went, it's free. I was like, all oh, right. And they go, you are working, here, aren't you? I was like, nah, I'm homeless. They went, what? I'm joking. I'm joking. Sorry. Anyway, I had a free, have a free breakfast. It was lovely. Oh, I was amazing, right? Then I start chatting with your extras. They chat to me, and back in the day when this was, you know, being filmed, um, it wasn't uh, Bill Nye that was going to be in it. It was going to be Rick Mail, not Rick Mail, Alan Rickman. Sorry, Alan Rickman, the Snape from Harry Potter, right? And this guy comes up to me and he goes, "I just saw, I just saw Snape." I was like, "Oh my god, did you?" And my heart's beating. I'm thinking, this is a celebrity now, isn't it? This is a proper one. It's not like that woman from Downton Abbey. She's a nice woman from, you know, I met her and everything. But, I mean, check out the video, the Dark Angel video if you want to know more about that. But, she's a lovely woman. But, this, you know, Snape is a proper writer, isn't he? You know what I mean? Harry Potter. And he's been in loads of films before that. He's got that proper voice, isn't he? Where's my coffee? I can't do his voice. But that kind of, do you know what I mean? Proper version, sexy bloke. I don't think he's alright. Mm. Anyway, right, fair play to him. Nice bloke. He's dead now, isn't he? R.I.P. and all that. Anyway, um, back then he was alive, right? So he, apparently he's going to be in the film, right? And I, I see the guy who looks like him walking past. And the guy goes, the, the extra goes, Hey, that's him, that's him, that's him. I'm like, oh my God. I look at him. That's not him. That's some random bloke. I was like, right. And then, directors start talking. You can hear people talking. And they go, oh, he's pulled out of it. He's pulled out of it. What's wrong? 
then you get Bill Nighy coming in. That guy from uh, what was he in Live Actually? He's in uh, that Underworld. I don't know what else he's in, but he's in loads of stuff. Anyway, nice bloke. I think he's really good. Yeah, you know, honestly, I said hi to him. He's alright. Um, didn't ask for his number or anything. Oh, Dad's Army is in as well. I was close to being in that, but I was. Uh, that's a different story. I don't want to be in that. Anyway, so I'm having a free coffee, free tea, or whatever. I'm loving it. And they put on the costume, put on the tash, put on the suit. I'm loving it. I'm thinking this is amazing, right? This is amazing, right? Then I'm in a. <laughs> this is so awkward. I'm in a room with this woman, right? Just like she's like a, a makeup star artist person, and she's doing makeup on for me. And she's like, I'm single. <laughs> I was just like, oh, oh, oh right. She's like, I can never find she's Irish. Oh, I can never find a right man. And I was just thinking, I, I better leave now. You know, it's really awkward. Why, why tell me that stuff? I, I mean, I, I never said to her. I never asked her anything like that. I never asked her any, you know, questions like that. Anyway, it's all right. She's a nice woman. Um, anyway, I come out, and then yeah, we want all these like extras line up. Oh, actually, here's a pic, and. Um, Ah, uh, you know, I, but yeah, I noticed the cameras looking at me in that picture. I see it, and I'm like, I spy that cameraman, so I'm smiling, you know, holding my tash like, yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah. So then, when one of the costume designers is like, "Hey guys, you can't have any of your phones on you," and we're all hiding our phones, like, "Oh no, it's not, it's not honest, it's not honest." And we're taking us like, you know, little pictures and selfies. It's not because we want to ruin the film. It's because we want something for our for portfolio, you know, for our star now or you know, spotlight or anything like that. That's the point. Any actors out there, you want to be famous, you've got to go to drama school first for like a year and then pay 150 quid to 200 quid on Spotlight to get the proper good uh, um, scripts and stuff like that, and proper film like roles. So if anyone out there who wants to do that personally, that you know, as a career, that's the that's the way in there. Anyway, right, anyway, so what I'm saying with this video is this, right? Is that so? I loved it, right? But then I thought, first day I loved it. But I thought, oh, I gotta go back to that hostel. Oh man, back to that place. You know what I mean, I'm knackered as it is. You know what I mean? <sighs> right, I go to bed. Right. Then, this night, a Chinese guy gets above my bed, like because it's bunk beds, right? And then I'm thinking, oh, right, it's my I'm asleep. And then I fall asleep, but then I hear him going. <laughs> like proper laughing I'm thinking flip me right he's there for ages like proper laughing and stuff and then munching he's got munch he's got munch in his bed he's got crisps he's got popcorn prawn cocktails I just think the noise is food Pringles he's got so many different food and I'm thinking what, why is he eating now why is he eating when it's bedtime when other people are trying to sleep do you know what I mean? But you say you feel like you can't say anything because you want to be polite. You got to be, you know, I'm English. Like I feel like an English ambassador. I got to be nice to these people. Like welcome to the country, have a nice time. But I was livid. I was paid up, and then I went to bed. Right, I see. Then I woke up. Right. I, I seriously, I, I I woke up at like four in the morning because I was so worried about my alarm waking people up, and self-conscious about it and feeling rude. That what happened? There was a there was a woman next to me on the other bed. Alright, and I thought, I didn't, I didn't hear her getting. And because it was so dark in the room, I couldn't tell if she was looking at me or looking the opposite way. So then I'm like, is that a guy or a girl? And I don't know why, but I just, I just, I just lent a bit close just to see who it was. Thinking, oh, maybe it's just looking away. And then it's eyes open, and she's looking at me. I'm like, I'm, I've just got to go. And so she's seen this creepy ass bloke in the darkness staring at her. Apparently, they can girls like that in Twilight, but you know, not from a stranger. God, so I think I scared the life out of her, but she's like, oh, I was like, oh sorry, sorry. Just, go, 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 go. So it looked really weird. Oh, I hope you don't worry about that on Trip on Laser. Anyway, so I get up again, get a shower and stuff. Luckily, this time there's no one around, there's no naked looks around, it's alright. The shower's still cold. I tried a different one. Still cold. Even on the hot... Well, there's no hot option. It's just it's just on and off. And it's just freezing. So I, I'm wondering if they turn the hot water on, like... Do you know what I mean? Like, if it's, like, between five and six or something like that. Do you know what I mean? So, I tell you, it's four in the morning. It's bloody cold. Anyway, it's right. So, freezing again, right? But I'm, I'm awake. I'm awake. It's woken me up, right? 
go to work, have my breakfast, flipping loving it again, chatting with the extras, sitting around, waiting to get called on, carrying books, stroking my tash, walking past Bill Nye and some other actors and actresses I've never heard of, but they're nice people. Um, and then, right, that night, or that day, it was like a Manchester United football match starting, right? So Manchester was going to get packed. They, they love their football and they love their team and it was packed, right? But one of the women who, like, controls the extras, like, you know, when each one should get on, she was like, oh, she looked at me and she said, look, we've used you too much now. If you want, well, actually, we're going to send you home kind of thing because you, you've been used too much. And I was like, a part of me was kind of gutted because, like, oh, cheers, I'm the only one that's fired. But I've, I, I was used a lot in it. Like, seriously, I, I'm, if I'm in this film, I don't know how they're going to edit it because I feel like every time they're in the library, I'm in the library. Every time the main characters are reading a book, I'm in the background, either reading a book, stroking my tash or carrying books around. So I'm always in it, do you know what I mean? It's like, I'm not just like a library scholar now, I'm a library stalker, you know what I mean? I'm always there. I'm, I can't get enough of the book. My character can't get enough of books. He's loving it. <laughs> Actually, that's one point. They said to me, here's a prop, just pretend to read it. I actually did read it. It was actually from the Victorian Times. And it was about... <laughs> it's so weird. It was about this twat of a doctor going, this woman thinks she's going blind. I don't believe her. I was like, what? What? I just thought, well, I can't complain to anyone now. They're both dead now. They're long dead. Do you know what I mean? So there's no point in me complaining to anyone. But, um... It was proper weird. Proper weird, right? And anyway, so she says, hey, you can go home kind of thing. I was like, oh, cheers. But then when the guy goes, oh, I can't, I can't, I'm not here tomorrow. I've got to go to that Man United, Man United match tonight. He said, oh, look, is there any chance, you know, I can leave and let that guy, as and me, stay, stay today because, you know, I'm going to be gone. And then she looked at him and she went, oh, are you going to be gone? And she went, you went, yeah. She went, she turned straight back to me and she went, you know what? Can you stay another day then? And I was like, yeah, go on then. But by then, I was quite disappointed. Because I was quite excited thinking, oh, great, no more nights like that. I have to been hostile. I can go straight home. But now I'm like, oh, I'd have a night at hostel. Anyway, right, I'm thinking it's my last day, as in my last night there. I've got another day of work. And then I can take the train home. So I thought, you know what? Stuff this. I'm getting a travel lodge. So I went back to the hostel, picked up like my other bags and stuff. I said, hey, hey man. I think he's from Lithuania or something. I say, hey man, here's my uh, uh, car key, car key thing, whatever it is. Um, I'm checking out a night before. And he saw it on like, his computer and he went, oh no, man. I was like, what? He went, you've done this late. I was like, no, 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 no. I'm not handing it in late. I'm handing it a day in before, in advance. And he, he saw it and he said, like, yeah, fair enough. And I walked out, went to Travel Lodge. It's super weird, I should have booked Travelodge first. But I went straight to Travelodge and they were like, Yeah, we've got a room for you. And oh my god. Also, I'm not getting paid by Travelodge. But oh my god, it's amazing. It is amazing. I have been love it. It's like, it comes with a bed, like a double bed. It's, oh, amazing showers, amazing TV, TV uh, tea making facilities. I love tea making facilities. I love having a cup of tea when I want to. I went, to, oh my god, it's a lot, of, a lot of homeless in Manchester. I went to co op, right? The shop. Um, to get some milk, uh, to get some like, oh, I bought some sandwiches, crisps. I thought I want to treat myself. Yeah, I, I deserve it after suffering those two nights at the hostel. You know what I mean? I was knackered. I was getting bags in the eyes. I could have a proper shave because my beard was starting to grow back. Oh man, I loved it. Watching Family Guy, chilling in bed. Like, I had a shower in the morning, shave in the morning. Like, probably probably looked nice. Went to work, and there was a new extra there, right? A girl an extra, right? A new one. And I think she had to say some lines. Like, she was proper, like, climbing up the fame ladder. I don't know who she was. I've never heard of her, you know, seen her again on TV or anything, so I don't know if what's happened. But the film's out now, so I don't know if the film's got any good or not. But anyway, really quick. So I meet this girl, but the other extras kind of know me now. And they go, how would you like sleep and stuff? And I went, because oh, I, I, I used to say to them, oh, it's horrible when I sleep at the hostel. I said to them, brilliant. Travel lodge, hotel. I said, it's perfect. And I said I had a shower. I said I had a warm shower, <laughs> and they laughed and stuff. And we had we had a nice fried breakfast. Oh, fried breakfast in the morning is brilliant, right? And it's such an easy job. You just sit around, right? We just, honestly, it looks like we're from Titanic or something. We just sit around with all these blokes, just chilling with these women, just chilling around, having free food, and then every now and then they say, "Can you can you come on set?" And all you got to do is just walk around. 
and you get paid something silly money like 200 quid for a day it takes a month in advance you know or a month afterwards to get paid but it's still do you know what I mean like it's still good money it's easy money do you know what I mean compared to like I don't know any any other job you know being in an office or anything like that cooking in the kitchen making coffees or whatever doing ice creams anything like that normal job this was like easy money this is easy money and a lot right do you know what I mean I'm flipping in love with it Anyway, so it was last day, and yeah, I was I was in this film too much. I think I was I was just like constantly in the background. There's even a scene where one of the blokes is he's pinning a woman against some books, and he's shouting at her. Which, well, he, he kind of says, "Stop!" and then says something to her or whatever. But in the background, you got me chatting to one extra, looking at books, going like peering over, like because I thought. I've got to act like this is real. I can't act like I'm ignoring there's an argument going on. I've got to look a bit stern. So I'm looking over like, hmm, you better not be beating that woman. Otherwise I must step in. That's what I'm thinking. You know what I mean? Anyway, right? It stinks. The guy they put on my, my like top lip for the tash to stick on, it stinks, right? They're taking it off towards the end of the day. I'm sitting there going, <gasps> and she goes, this is the woman. Oh, I'm single. I thought, not again. I haven't gone now tonight. She said, "Oh, I've, I've been looking for a boyfriend for ages." I thought, "Right." I said, "Oh, well, it's not bad being single. It's all right. It's not. It's not. It's not the end of the world." Anyway, she's putting this stuff in my mouth, and I'm going, "Oh, it just stinks. It's reeks." And she goes, oh, "You're offending me now. Get out." And I thought, gladly, glad. I'm, I'm not going to pretend that stuff reeks. You know what I mean? Anyway, went out, took the train home. And yeah, so guys, I haven't seen it. I hope, hopefully, it's good. Hopefully, it gets good ratings on Rotten Tomatoes, or whatever. I don't know what to make of it. Just hopefully, hopefully, it's one of the best things I've ever been in. <laughs> That's all I can say because I've I've researched just how I've been in, and my God, that Chronicle film. Oh my God, I haven't even seen it, but everyone says it's crap. But I hope it doesn't ruin my reputation or my acting skills. Or my even my standing standing and walking skills, reading reading books. You know, I, I can be a good extra and stuff. Easy money. Anyone out there that wants to put me in something, message me on, on YouTube. It's brilliant. Oh, okay, almost finished. Well, I have finished this video now, but I want to quickly plug my music. I've got a brand new album coming out. Hopefully next year. I'm working on. It's amazing. It sounds proper amazing. Like I'm gonna not hold back any ideas. This ain't for uni. This is gonna be full me, full amazing, pure, sexy music. <gasps> Your ears deserves it. Oh. But, a little quick plug here. Go to the, not the App Store, it's the Play Store on Android. My app's on there for 9.99. I can't believe it. I think it's on Amazon. It's on Deezer, uh, Tidal, I think it's called. It's on Spotify and on iTunes, Apple Music.